An object moving with uniform acceleration has a velocity of 11 centimeters per second in the positive x direction when its x coordinate is 2.97 centimeters. If its x coordinate if its, if its x coordinate 1.85 seconds later is negative 5 centimeters, what is its acceleration? He wants the answer in centimeters per second squared. So what do we know? What we know is the initial velocity is 11 centimeters per second. We know that the change in time equals 1.5 eight five seconds and we know that the um, the initial location is uh, location is 2.97 centimeters and the final location is negative five centimeters so how do we find acceleration from all of this? Well, um, acceleration is acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by change in time. So what we have here is the initial velocity, and is there a way to find the final velocity? Well, there is. Um, but the way we're going to do that is by finding the average velocity during that time period. And uh, so average velocity, so average velocity equals V initial plus V final divided by 2. That's average velocity. But the average velocity can also be written as average velocity equals um, X initial, I'm sorry, not x initial, x final, the final location minus the initial location divided by the change in time. So the final location was negative 5, the initial location was 2.97. So we have the negative 7.97 divided by the change in time, which is 1.85 seconds. 7.97 over 1.85. So our average velocity is approximately negative 4.3, negative 4.3 meters per second. Alright, so I'm going to take this formula for average velocity and use it to solve the final velocity. So 4.3 meters per second is our average equals the uh, initial velocity, which was 11.0 centimeters per second, plus the um, unknown, at, we'll just uh, put a question mark, unknown centimeters per second. That divided by 2 also equals the initial velocity plus the final velocity divided by 2 is another way of expressing average velocity. So I multiply both sides by 2, I get 8.6 equals 11 plus unknown. And then I, actually let me make sure that's negative, negative 8.6. So then I, I can subtract 11 from both sides, and I get negative 19.6 equals final velocity. Now that the final velocity is known, we can take our final velocity and our initial velocity and plug it into our acceleration formula and get its acceleration in meters per second squared. So negative 19.6 is the final velocity minus 11, and these are in centimeters per second, divided by um, the, the time, which is 1.85 seconds, and the answer should be negative 16.54 centimeters per second squared. That's your acceleration during the whole, the average acceleration during the whole time.